Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use HTML, JavaScript, and CSS to make some quick, simple plugins for OBS and or XSplit. Make sure you uh, check out the description below because I have some free links to some GitHub repos where you can actually use these. Enjoy the show. What is up everyone? Today I'm going to try to show you how to do a simple plugin for something simple in OBS. Now some of this will work for XSplit. In fact, I think all of it will work for XSplit. But uh, what we want to do is up here in the right hand corner, top right, we want to display the date. Now I tried a bunch of different things, find the plugin, uh, even try to write one myself in C++. And then uh, I saw another video, which I'll uh, link in the description, which is in a uh, non-English language, which kind of turned on the idea that why not just use a web page with a transparent background to do all of your evil bidding. So if we want to do a current date, that actually becomes pretty darn easy. So uh, what we should do is probably uh, look at what it's going to look like when we're done. And to do that, let me just show that there. So it's got today's date. You can format that however you want. And to pull that off, um, what I ended up doing was uh, pointing to a local web page that I created here. And this one's called date time, current time. And then you hit OK. You can change the, uh, the size of this uh, if you want. And depending on your font size and whatnot, that'll, that'll kind of make a difference here. So let's look at code real quick. So th that index page that we pointed to in OBS looks just like this. We've got... A very basic web page. I uh, use some jQuery and I point to a uh, uh, external uh, CSS file and an external JavaScript file. I have one little old element here, uh, just the H1 uh, element. And when my JavaScript executes, we use jQuery to basically set the value of that box to whatever we want. So we've got uh, the H1 tag. Once we uh, figure the day, format it the way we want, we just do that. And that's a one-time use. If we want to change the font, we can come in here and actually change the font. And it's just basic CSS at this point. So if we flip back to OBS here um, and turn that on, that's essentially how that works. And if we come in here, let's just review again. Now this CSS down here really doesn't do anything with changing the uh, uh, stuff up there, but you might be able to modify this um, rather than go back to the, the other file. I uh, haven't tried that, but you might want to. And the next sort of uh, thing I decided to do was down here along the bottom. Hmm, gee, wouldn't it be nice if you had something like this? Well, built into OBS and XSplit, you can do these sorts of things, no problem. The problem is, is that static text. So you have to pre-type that in there or copy and paste it from somewhere. Wouldn't it be great if that was just super dynamic? And so, yes, uh, we're going to do that. And in order to uh, pull that off, we are going to uh, go to our index file right here. And let's go ahead and navigate to that plugin. So I've also... Uh, made the conscious choice to make these separate plugins. So if we go into news, tech headlines, index, um, oops, uh, wrong one, index HTML. There we go. Uh, again, it's it's basically a marquee element. And yes, don't don't message me. I know it's deprecated, it's old, but you know what? It just totally works. Uh, we've got our JavaScript, uh, get jQuery, and CSS the same way. And if we look into that JavaScript bit here, you'll see that. I'm actually getting this from TechCrunch through their API and I'm basically just setting that marquee to be the value of that. And I'm doing a extra feature here is basically putting some headlines of my own. So um, I'm promoting a live show I do with Bob and uh, some other things. And you can just kind of add to that how you want and how that manifests is just like what you see here. And again, you want to change the font. Great. Uh, it's all CSS at this point. And if we or to unlock this, you can see it right there. If you try to mess around with it, it'll it'll do some scaling and whatnot. So there was that. And then finally, um, I decided, you know, wouldn't it be cool in this cryptocurrency era to have a live Bitcoin uh, feed right there. And so again, 
This one's pretty easy. Again, it's just using JavaScript. And we have uh, an API we talk to, and we set the value of that. Except the wrinkle here is, is every 60 seconds, go ahead and refresh that. And so um, basically with a simple HTML, JavaScript, and CSS uh, skill set, you don't have to uh, worry too much about adding some dynamic functionality. In fact, you can make this whole thing a web page that dawned on me, um, depending on how far you want to take this. And so uh, we are uh, integrating some new cool widgets. These are just samples. These aren't the final results. Uh, Bob, uh, my co-host on the uh, Bob and Kevin show, actually is in charge of the style. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's that easy. I hope you liked what you saw there. And make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.